I don't understand why you're so... I just... I wasn't expecting it. It's not the sort of thing you expect or look out for or, or think about, ever. <laughs> We've never talked about it, ever. Except at my mum's uh, funeral, actually, and because that wasn't, it wasn't a romantic, I didn't, a romantic setting, I'd sort of maybe not really register that as a, <laughs> a thing you might be, I mean, I was trying to talk about anything so that I didn't have to think about her dead fucking body the other side of a, a curtain from us in our conversation. And those, <laughs> those brown shoes, those totally awful brown shoes you'd found and put on and worn to my mother's funeral as though your sole objective of that day was to make me cry more, not less. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. You're my world, my... Yada yada, but the point is, so I, I mean, we could have been talking about anything or any, so, so if that was you being serious, if that was you introducing that concept to our relationship at that point, then I did not take that seriously, and I'm sorry. <sighs> what just happened was like, what it was like was if, okay, Imagine if, okay, imagine if I one day waltzed in and was like, like, pop it, sweetheart, nightingale of mine and heart's desire, I love you. I love you to the edges of this earth and back. I love you body and heart and soul. And I reckon to express this love, we should go and blow up the local Sainsbury's. But, and then I presented you with a massive bomb upon a vest on a bended knee. And prior to this, okay, prior to this moment, this bended knee moment, let's imagine that the only conversation we had ever had about bombing or, or suicide bombers in any sense was in fact a kind of vague chat in which Maybe one of us might have expressed slightly hesitant, but not entirely unpredictable, given our bleeding heart liberalism empathy towards said suicide bombers who had lost everything in a war that you and I from our privileged position understand very little about, in any real sense at least. And I'm proud of that empathy. That empathy is a good thing. But imagine though, imagine that that slightly vague experience was in fact the only conversation we'd ever had about bombing. And then in I stroll with a suicide vest and suggest that we go and blow up the local supermarket in the sort of tone that suggests that that had been the plan all along. I mean, Imagine your surprise. Imagine your surprise. <laughs> <laughs>